Hi, would you like to know what is your past life relationship with this person? This is a special video we are going to do that and here we have four different options. Okay, so let's get into see what the options are. So I just showed you all the options. How do you have to select from these options? You know, in just a little moment, I will be giving you uh, a clip, you know, where you can see all these four options in one go. And what you have to do is you have to select one option. How do you select the option? You know, as soon as you see the clip, just, uh, just pause the video. Yeah, so as soon as you see all the options, you just have to, uh, you just have to pause the video and then based on um, just, 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 you know uh, just take deep breaths meditate and uh, and just focus on that all the options and see which one is calling out your attention and whichever option is grabbing your attention you have to select that option and based on the timestamps given below this video you have to watch the video of your option i hope that that's clear uh, okay so all the options for you are given here okay so just in case if you selected the first option the coin then let's see what is it that the cards have to tell you what is it what was the relationship for you uh, with this person in your past life okay so uh, so we see these two cards okay uh, yeah first card is about lord ganesha if you want to know the details about which deck i have used the details are given below this video okay uh, i'm not just mentioning here because it just is going to it's it's irrelevant to you here okay because everybody doesn't want to know okay so from here you know i just feel that the relation of this person to you was you were the elder person and this person was a younger person okay uh, this person maybe was your child this person was uh, somebody who was very much younger to you very much inspired by you they used to see you as a role model okay that's the first thing that's coming from the cards we have two more cards okay uh, two more cards we have and here we see the somebody doing yoga then we see the telephone uh, uh, there was a lot of communication between both of you okay it could be distant communication and just because you know we know that telephone was not invented long back it could be that both of you see it's it's a very you know something is very significant here that it's a telephone and then this person is doing yoga you know it could be that this person was a yogic person they had a lot of yogic powers and they could communicate from a distance okay yes at that time mobile phones were not there so you used to communicate through distance just by your yogic powers uh, this person used to communicate with you okay the next we have is these two cards your relationship with this person okay so whenever you came close to this person uh, you always had problems yes you know there are sometimes you know things are like this happen that when two people are not meant to be close together you know as soon as you come together there is there are some or the other problems happening so this actually shows that that the moment you came together there used to be some or the other problems there used to be some or the other um mishaps okay yes it could be and uh, yes that that's that's one thing another thing is yes another thing is a good thing that when this person came close to you uh, they actually you know they actually um, created some sort of stir in your heart that you actually felt it some sort of um, cyclone okay some sort of cyclone in your heart that as soon as they came closer you actually felt it but you know that uh, that thing used to disturb them you know that uh, that over over uh, over what do you call it the over boiling of the emotions that actually disturbed them and it used to disturb the health for both of you which is why you guys never came close to each other okay this this was the reason you guys always stayed away and this card says but there was definitely some or the other connection which both of you could not disagree and that's why i think you were distantly connected you were connected at a distance 
you used to connect you used to communicate from a distance okay so yeah so that is the video for today i hope that this video has made sense with you you know let me know in the comments below because see this is something from your past life and uh, anything about your past life is definitely going to resonate you are definitely going to feel that oh yes this happened with me okay so yeah uh, if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with other people i will see you again in the next video i do have tarot classes but if you want that I conduct tarot class just for your group of friends or your group of family then definitely you know I can even do that uh, you can just go ahead and contact me there is a number given on the screen where you can just contact me and ask me about it okay uh, there uh, there is an oracle card reading class coming up so yes I will be placing uh, you can actually contact me on the contact number given on the screen just contact me and ask me the details about the oracle card reading class okay I will see you again in the next video do stay subscribed to to my channel if you have liked this video hit the like button share this video with others with who used who would like to know what their past life relationship was with that person i will see you again in the next video do stay subscribed to my channel until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye Okay, so just in case if you have selected this option, this very very shiny ring. Uh, I don't know whether you guys have seen me wearing this ring. Okay, yeah, there is another ring here today. But yeah, I am not sure whether you guys have seen me wear this ring. If you want to see me wearing this ring, just let me know in the comments. Okay, so your relationship with this person in the past life is this. It's actually weird. Okay, let me, let me just check all the cards because, wow, it's actually very, very weird, you know, um, either you or this person were an object, okay, and yes, you uh, you were somebody who, who is a person and this, this person with whom you are seeing the relationship, they were the object. It could be the object of pleasure. It could be an a, a toy to play with. And here we have we see the snake. It also could be that this person was your pet animal. Okay, this person was your pet animal because in both of these cards you can see this lady has a snake in her neck. So it could be that this person was your pet animal. Also, we can see, you know, we see these bubbles here, we see these grapes here. It shows that this person could also be your toy, your toy in the past birth. So now, uh, when when we say that it's a toy, what could it be? See, uh, years back, like hundreds and hundreds of years back, you don't know what exactly toys were, right? They could even be like wooden toys. They could even be toys made up of stones. Yes, there are chances because because. Uh, how what uh what could a toy be like that looks like this right it, it's just only stones comes to my mind okay so this person could be uh, a toy uh, a toy an object in your life that was made up of stones and also this or this person could be uh, an object a tool a tool with which you used to uh, do your work it could be your chisel it could be your axe it could be your knife with which you used to work okay so see now here we have like a lot of different things saying uh, that this person was an object this person was your object now what does this mean you know when i say this uh, you may actually get confused but you know the the zest of this reading remains the same the relationship with this person could be you know it could be that you are presently using this person or it could be that this person is presently using you because because we have this that, that this person was your object was your, your, your tool that you have used it could be the stones you know that you had played with so because you had used them as an object now they have come into your present life and they are using you as an object okay so i know this doesn't sound good but this actually connect this connection is actually interesting that why this person is doing this okay so and uh, you know you may be bothered by it a little bit that they are using you but at the same time because this is a karmic thing because this is 
something that you did in the past you may not be complaining too much about this you may not be hurt too much about this you are still okay with it okay so yes so that is the, <laughs> that is the reading this is actually the most weirdest reading i have done let me know in the comments how what part of this reading how much of this reading resonates with you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with other people uh, with for who would like to know what is the relationship of them with some other person and uh, yeah let me know in the comments how does this video resonate i'll see you again in the next video do stay subscribed to my channel until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye and one important announcement my tarot class my oracle card reading class yes you will be able to do amazing readings like this the one you just watched you'll be able to do readings like this uh, when you join so if you want to join the link for that class you can just contact me on the number given on the screen and i will be sharing the details with you okay so yeah so that is it for today until next time bye bye okay so just in case if you selected this little sponge you know the makeup sponge that i showed you tiny little one just in case if you selected that then let's see what is your what was your relationship with this person in the past life okay so yeah the cards look interesting okay so now we have uh, these cards the relationship is very strange okay this relationship looks very strange this looks like a person who is a sage who is a who is a mendicant who is a guru somewhat like that or a saint you know who just wanders from one city to another city to give advice to share wisdom stuff like that and this is actually you or uh, yeah this is actually you and you are a person who is very uh, very emotional very sentimental you are this person and you always used to visit this person for wisdom for advice or it could be the other ways okay that you were that you were this wise person and you used to go to this person for no, you are the wise person and the other person with whom you are checking what your relationship is. This person used to come to you for advice. So whatever that is, you know, it, it's going to be the opposite of what it was now. Now it's going to be the opposite that if you were somebody who went for advice, now it could be that you are somebody who that person comes to comes for an advice. okay so there we have the full moon card uh, first card is full moon card the second card is the optical illusion and the third card is decisions made okay um, that sounds like you know it, it actually sounds like a very serious kind of relationship okay you both of you had a very serious relationship because this is a full moon card you know uh, the, the full moon card is there we have the justice card we have the card that shows just and fair decisions very very uh, uh, full of justice this person was the next card we have here is the death card so a very serious sort of relationship was going on a lot of ups and downs came in your life and uh, yes, though whatever happened, I think both of you still look forward to each other. Both of, both of you still hung on to each other for to the relationship. Okay. So yes, so this is uh, what is this shows actually predictive programming. So some sort of programming was in your mind or in both of your mind that make you operate this way or it could be that your karma this was this way you know because the justice card is for karma and this card is like a predictive programming. I think even in the past birth the, the, the birth about which we are talking that also wasn't your first birth you know it there were several births before that. Uh, with uh, through which you had met okay but this is where you know your karmic your karmic connection began your karmic behavior began and yes you know you were hell you were hallucinated when when you may, met this person see this happens you know whenever you are karmically attached to somebody 
and whenever they come close to you you just lose all your wisdom you lose all your logic and you still you just fall for that person without any reason and then people actually say you are so smart you're so intelligent how did you, a person like you fall for that kind of person it's because you guys you guys had something karmic to pay back and whenever karma comes in the way you lose all your wisdom you lose all your logic and the thing happens okay so this is what it says also your relationship in the past it did not last uh, it you know you guys came together and then the relationship broke which is also a reason why uh, it could be that you even in the present life you may always be fearful that your relationship could break that you may be just you know you may be separated people will uh, forcibly separate you that also could be a fear that you may have but just because you know you were separated in the past birth okay just because you are separated in the past birth in the present birth you know you also have this little surety not little surety it's like a very sure shot surety that you are going to stay you know that relationship is going to last that person is going to come back to their come back to you that that is the that is the confidence that you have in this birth okay so that's that and let's see see again you know this is the card for justice somewhere or the other there is a lot of karma involved both of you did maybe you know a lot of bad karma in past life a lot of good karma in pa i actually don't see a lot of good karmas okay both of you did some bad karma some karma that you are now accountable of to pay together so that is why you have to come together you know here again in the background you see that justice you know the balance the scales here this also is the card for justice the card of scales you can see the little scales here okay so this is the card for scales and it says decisions made pay attention offer accepted legal matters yes so serious situation could be here in the present life and you cannot do anything about it because this is something you have brought from your past life okay so yes so also at the same time see just because we have this card it's it actually shows that this life at this life actually is a better life than what your past life was okay uh, maybe you know you could have done some heinous uh, sins in your past life sins sound like sound like a very bad thing okay but yes you could have done a very bad karma in your past life and but that did not define you in this present life you could have some other purpose and other karma that you have to do so this present life is actually a little bit better life that you have brought okay so if you have further questions you know because that actually sounded a little bit harsh so if you have some extra questions just contact me on the number given on the screen and we'll get into reading for you you know what exactly uh, your present life is going to be like etc okay so yeah so that is it for today's video if you are interested in joining my tarot classes my oracle card reading classes then the number is given on the screen just contact me and you know i'll send you all the details if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with all other people i will see you again in the next video to stay subscribed to my channel let me know in the comment box below how does this video resonate with you definitely you know there is going to be something or the other that has resonated with, resonated with you i want to know what it is thank you so much until next time keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching bye bye okay so just in case if you selected the evil eye charm okay, the evil eye bead then let's see what is it that the relationship was the relationship you had with this person in the past life okay that looks interesting okay it's interesting as well as weird okay so one of you okay it could be either you or this person whoever that is you know you just figure out what it sounds like you know i'll be explaining you what exactly this could this looks like right now and what relationship this would be this would be looking like in the past so you'll be able to figure out what this person was and what you are okay because here it's like showing two people i don't know which of the two people you are okay so the first card is we have this is the empress card so one of the person either of the two of you could be like a very very uh, very rich person in the past life okay it could be it could be a very rich person somebody who is from a royal family somebody who just has a lot of money to squander okay it could be that person the other person was somebody who did not have much money but this was a person you know who had a lot of wisdom okay so this person was a friend to this person okay she was a friend to this lady 
uh, at the same time she was also an advisor at the same time she was also the wiser one amongst the both of them which is why uh, she used to always keep sharing the wisdom and this person used always to uh, used to always shower this person with uh, not just blessings okay now not blessings but this person used to shower with money with riches with jewelry stuff like that okay so this is what this used to be now you may ask okay which one is who okay so in present birth you know if you are a person who likes to who likes to squander money okay then you were this person you may say okay that that doesn't connect okay see in the past life if you were this person who was giving away a lot then in present life you will be this person who is accepting who is on the receiving end see uh, usually you know people don't understand this you know when you are uh, when you are giving too much you are going to come in the next life to receive to take it okay so this is what has happened in past life this person was somebody who was giving too much who was giving money riches uh, jewelry stuff like that all the good things materials to live to resources to survive this person used to give it a lot to this person so it could be that if you were this person in past life you no more feel like giving you no more feel like giving the riches away you may still be somebody who is accepting some wise advice from them or it is that you had accepted so much of advice so much of wisdom that now you are full of wisdom and you are somebody who advises this person okay so that's that uh, let's see the other cards yes see even here the same thing is happening you know one person was somebody who used to keep on donating who used to keep on giving okay one person always kept on giving this person is somebody you know who kept on um receiving accepting okay whatever was being given and if you were somebody who were always giving in this birth you don't feel like giving anymore you are somebody who is on the receiving end okay out of the both of you people and if you were somebody who were always being given something you know uh, and in this birth you will actually feel this this extraordinary urge of just giving 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 okay because in last birth you actually received a lot so now you will have a natural tendency of giving okay and then we have these cards okay so let's see what these cards are declaration hot air balloon okay defiance reclaiming power sovereignty contract resolve expressing truth manifesto self rule liberty or death rules of the game protesting challenging the status quo um balance uplift freedom going with the flow rise above don't resist new perspective untouchable defying gravity continuous flow ascension view elevate feeling good does it does it connect with you okay so what's happening here you know this this card actually says that either of you was somebody who was very much grounded and the other person was somebody who was on the path of ascension and because you are with that person you are also ascending with them okay so this may be happening even in this birth that either from both of you one person is very much growth oriented very much oriented towards being productive making a meaningful life you know the life working on making life better one person is like that and other person has no idea they are not even uh, focusing on growth they are not even focusing on um yeah making life meaningful but just because they have the company of this person who is always growing who is always wanting to grow they are also oh why not even i grow so they have that that they just want to grow because they are seeing their friend grow okay they are seeing their friend their partner grow okay so yes so that is the video for you and i hope that this reading has made sense let me know in the comments you know how does this reading made make sense with you if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with others who would also like to know what their relationship was with some person in the past life okay uh, if you have liked this video hit the like button try to share this video with as many people as you can i will see you again in the next video do stay subscribed to my channel 
until next time oh yeah one minute you know if you want to join my tarot classes or my oracle card reading classes yes i do have a special you know a class a premium level class where if you have if you your group of friends your group of family you want me to conduct a class just for you guys i can definitely do that contact me on the number given on the screen i will see you again in the next video until then keep following the path of your soul's purpose because you are born for a reason thank you so much for watching Bye-bye.